So I figure while I'm here in Switzerland, why not answer a question from the Q&A with a castle in the background? Thought that'd be cool, so why not go ahead and answer that question? So, the question that came in was, how do I build a trained final response such as a sit, but have my dog still be independent from me? So, like with many things that I do with training, I always compartmentalize an aspect of training. So in this case, I'm gonna teach the behavior the sit, separate and away from odor at first. So the dog has to first learn the sit, understand that that's an exercise or a behavior that gets reinforcement. And then as I've done the training on odor, the dog knows how to locate odor, I then change the criteria going from whatever the dog's initial behavior was when it got to odor to now the only way it's going to get reinforcement is when it offers the sit. And as soon as it sits, it'll get the uh, condition reinforcer in my world, the marker. As soon as it hears that, it'll get the high value reinforcer. So in layman's terms, basically I teach the sit away from odor. Once I see my dog knows odor, I'll then require the dog to sit. When the dog sits, it gets reinforcement. And the only way it gets reinforcement is when it goes to odor and does that train final response. So I hope that answers the question. Hope you enjoy the scenery behind me and uh, we'll talk to you guys in the next one.